And the Florida Highway Patrol is reminding drivers to share the road this May as part of Motorcycle and Bicycle Safety Awareness Month. SNN's Allison Henning spoke with FHP as well as people in both biking communities. Most of the crashes that involve a motorcyclist or a bicyclist is when their right of way is violated. Jim Wheeler experienced this firsthand. I was hit by a car about 12 years ago up in Sun City Center just riding down a road. I was me going one way and a car come the other way and the person turned into me and uh, took me about a year to get over the head injuries that resulted from that. Just last year, there were more than 6,500 bicycle crashes in Florida, leaving hundreds seriously injured. But that's not all. The Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles reports more than 10,000 motorcycle crashes, nearly 550 of those happening along the Sun Coast. For bicyclists, motorcycles, and pedestrians, it's becoming more and more dangerous on the road. I mean, there's constantly cars going by you, and if somebody's on a cell phone or God knows texting, no matter what you do, you're not safe. For the motorcycle community, it's the same story. Max Englert says bikers have to go above and beyond the rules. To be safe on a motorcycle, you always have to be second guessing, anticipating, watching. You have to be scanning constantly. Drivers of motorcycles, bikes, and cars have the same rights and responsibilities. State Trooper Ken Watson asks drivers to stay alert. You've got three mirrors. you got your driver's side, passenger, and your rear view. They're there for a reason. Use them. Reporting in Manatee County, Allison Henning, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. And data shows motorcycle crashes in Florida have increased steadily from year to year. However, bicycle crashes with injuries have been on a downward trend since 2014.